Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. I am Jeremy Hill. If you are easily triggered, leave now because this show is not for you. Now, let's get into the subject matter, ladies and gentlemen. Now, gentlemen, I want you to pay close, pay close attention to what I'm about to say to you, okay? Because a lot of content creators and a whole lot of these so-called relationship gurus have been fucking lying to you. Telling you to be the better version of yourself so you can be the best option for a woman. A real alpha male refuses to be an option to any woman. Now let me break this down. You do not be an option to a woman. You are not. What you aim to be is the ultimatum. You become the best version of yourself, not to become the best option for a woman, but to become the better version of yourself so that you can become the ultimatum. Now for those of you who don't know what an ultimatum is, it's basically you take it or leave it. That's the ultimatum. I'm, I give you an option. You have to choose yes or no. There is no in between. There's no um, what if we compromise. There's no compromise. You take it or leave it. Now, let me tell you something. Why in the hell would you want to become the best version of yourself, work hard every day, get money, get nice places to stay, get cars, just so you can be a fucking option for a woman? When you become an option for a woman, you are nothing but a sucker. When you become an option to a woman, playing second or just waiting for a woman to say, hey, I approve of you, I'm gonna validate you, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to be my man after I make a decision, after I determine whether or not you're worthy of me, you a fool, okay? A lot of these dudes are not giving you the game, I'm giving it to you, I'm gonna tell you something. Let me give you an analogy of how worthless an option is. Walmart, Walmart has a 30 day return policy, correct? Now, a person can go into Walmart and look at all them shoes on the, the wall. All of these many different off, um, options of shoes. All of these shoes are the best version of those shoes. You get what I'm saying? They right, they fit on your feet right, everything. The best option, the best version of that shoe. Now, the person can say, all right, I like this shoe, but I also like that shoe. I have options. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this shoe over here on the right. They get that shoe. They use that shoe for 28 days, 29 days, wear the shoe out, get the best usage out of that shoe, become happy with the shoe. But then they say, all right, I've had enough of this shoe. I used it long enough. Let me go ahead and bring it back and use the, uh, the other option. So they take that shoe that they have been using for 28, nine days, return it back to Walmart, get their money back or exchange it for the other option of shoe that they were looking at. And that's how many of you men are. You become a better version of yourself just to be an option that a woman can use for a certain amount of time and when she gets tired of using you, when she got her full <clears throat> when she got her full usage of you, she sets you down, disposes of you, and go for another option of man. Why the fuck are you an option? An alpha male refuses to be an option. Okay? You become a better version of yourself again to be an ultimatum. So when you deal with a woman, when she comes into the blessing of your presence, you let her know, this is my program. This is what it is. Either you're going to do this, or you're going to choose that, or you get the fuck on, I'm going to find another woman who will get on the, pro on the program I have. A lot of you men are operating with scarcity mindsets thinking, oh, if I don't follow this woman, if, I, if I'm too alpha to this woman, if I'm, not, if I'm too masculine to this woman, I'll lose this woman. Fuck that woman. Get another woman. Billions of women on the planet. Why are you stuck on this one chick who don't really give a damn? See, I'm gonna tell you something. How do you know when you're being an option to a woman? When you text a woman and she takes hours to return that text back to you. When you call a woman and she takes hours to return that phone call back to you because you are a damn option. She is, she is exploring her option with other men. And when you become this type of loser and you wait for a woman to say, okay, you can get in this coochie now. Okay, you can be my man now. What you have told her is that you don't respect yourself. That you look, you don't look at yourself in a high regard. You consider yourself down here and that you're willing to follow a woman. You cannot be a leader, man. You can't be a leader while you're following a woman. Every leader has a program. I never met a leader who has followers that would not get on his program. Because if, they, if he can't lead them to follow his program, he's not a leader. A lot of you are letting these women lead you. You're letting these women be your weakness. You are the ultimatum. 
This is when you can say to a woman who seeing somebody else, if you don't leave that man alone, or if you don't decide to jump over here and deal with me, leave me alone. I ain't got nothing to do with you. You let these women tell you what to do. Um, I was talking to one of my clients. Well, one of them. I had two this morning. And I'm going to tell you something. One of them, a gentleman, had told me an interesting story. And if you're watching, hey, how you doing? I ain't going to say your name. I ain't going to put your business out. I don't do that. But basically, a woman trying to play games. Like if this gentleman, and you know who you are, sir. Um, the man tells this woman, I'm tired of texting back and forth. Let's talk on the phone. Let's set up a date to meet. And then this woman becomes standoffish and say, no, nah, I'd rather, I'd rather just um, talk here first. I, that happens to me. And I cut them holes out. I'm going to tell you why. If I'm on the internet site and I'm talking to you, and then I say, okay, give me the number so we can talk, and then we set up a date or whatever we're going to do. I'm not trying to hear no shit about let's talk here on this site first. She's using you as an option because she's talking to many other men, not just you. That's how they, that's a stall tactic. That's what that's called in my world. It's called a stall tactic. They stalling, trying to keep you around long enough at arm's reach, at arm's length, so they can go ahead and explore other options. Sometimes women will get in a relationship with men that they have settled for because he might be a stable man, a man of structure who has money coming in, but she will start fights and have breakups. They will separate, get back together, separate, get back together. And she uses this time that she is separated from you to go explore options. Sometimes she already has an option, but she wants to spend more time with that option before she decides to leave you and set you down like that analogy I had about the shoes at Walmart. Don't ever, 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 ever be a woman's option, man. You are the ultimatum. You make sure either they get with the program or they get lost. There is no in between. Stop running behind women and trying to please them and make them want you. They should want, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? They should want to be with you. But a lot of you men are running behind these women trying to prove to them why they should want you. A woman is supposed to earn you. You're not supposed to earn the woman. You are not supposed to make a woman's life easier. By God, they were designed to be a help me. So what does that mean? They are designed to make your life easier. That's the game. See, when you are running behind a woman trying to make her life easier, paying all her goddamn bills and shit, doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing, being a beta male provider and shit like that, you are actually operating against the divine nature that God gave you because you're being a simp. A simp. And whenever a woman is leading you and not making your life easier, she is operating against the divine nature that God gave her because she is, the, she is made to be a subservient to the man. Okay? You do not want one of these boss chicks out there thinking they running shit all the time because when you get a hold to one of them, if she don't know how to transition from being a boss on the job into a um, submissive woman with you, you're going to have hell for the rest of your life all the time you with her. Stop being a damn option to a woman. I'm sick of you. Look, I'm sick of you content creators lying to people. I hear it. Some people talk to me about it and I have to tell them the same thing. I'm, that's why I made this video. They tell you a lot of you content creators regurgitate other people's content. Someone say, oh, just be the better version of yourself. You click on another one. Oh, uh, be the better version of yourself. You say, shit, but go to another one. Uh, be the better version of yourself. It, you don't know what you're doing. You're not in the streets. You've never been in the streets. You don't know how to deal with these women. You tell a whole lot of men what to do, and you don't even use it. A lot of you are falling victim to this BS out there. Because a lot of you don't have high self-esteem. I'm talking to the men. There are a lot of men who are insecure. And when you are an insecure man, it's easy for a woman to manipulate you and get in your mind because she's going to somehow get in your mind that she's the prize and you're going to feel, oh my God, I'm scarcity. I have a scarcity mindset. I don't want to lose this woman. I'm so scared if I... No. Be a man. And realize you are the ultimatum. You are not the option. You become the better version of yourself to become the ultimatum. You approach every woman with a take it or leave it mentality. This is who I am. This is what I want. <clears throat> this is why women try to manipulate you to get in relationships. You can tell women straight up, hey, all I want is to have sexual pleasure, have a um, friend. We can go out dates. We can have a great time, but I'm not open to a relationship. Or you can say what I like to say, I am open to a relationship, but down the road. Even when you tell a woman what it is you're intending to do, that bitch is going to try to change your mind. She's going to wiggle in your head. 
Well, you know, well, I don't want to give up this vagina. I don't want to be just a, a regular whore. I, I don't want you to think of me like that. I just want to, you know, no. You just told her what it was. That's the ultimatum. Either you choose to be in my life this way or you go look for someone else. I refuse to be an option to you. And I refuse to let you come in my motherfucking life and tell me what I'm supposed to be doing with you or anybody else. I work too goddamn hard to have what I have. Now that's the alpha mentality that you are supposed to have, gentlemen. A lot of you are running behind these funky ass women, women out here. Letting them make you an option, letting them play you and shit. You, look, women value themselves. They have an overinflated sense of self-worth. That's exactly how you're supposed to be. Because most times when you get with a woman, you most times have more than what she has anyway. More money, more stability, more seniority, more experience, more investments. Usually when a woman get with a man, you usually have more than what she has anyway. Even if she has some good things, usually the man have more than what she do anyway. Men make more money than women, so make it make sense to me. Why are you being an option to a woman? Don't ever be no option to no broad, man. Do not be an option to a gas station deal pickle buying, now later sucking, great Kool-Aid drinking whore. I'm telling you the truth, man. Look at yourselves, man, and realize that you're special. Realize that you have worth. Realize that you have value. And this is how I talk to people. Because I have to, because they have been stuck in a mindset to where they believe that women are the prize. They believe that they have to drop, drop on the knee, crawl through the mud and shit, jump through hula hoops or whatever it is, just to please a woman to keep us stinking ass there. And I'm gonna tell you like I tell my clients, however a woman starts with you is how she's gonna continue to be with you all the way to the end when she is tired of you. If she starts off having you follow her, if she starts off treating you like an option, that's how she will continuously treat you as an option. If you, live, if you start off chasing this woman, you will have to continue to chase this woman until the relationship ends. She will deliberately do things that will make you chase her throughout the relationship because you started out as an option, you started out chasing her ass. Okay? Now, this is how I talk about women. I am started a membership channel on my same channel, members only. You got to subscribe to that and pay for that. Where I'll be talking about dating tips, this is part of something like a dating tip thing, I guess, okay? But the only reason I made this is because I'm so sick of hearing this shit. These content creators making up stuff, they don't believe in it themselves. They, they have y'all believe in that shit. And I'm, I don't care if they get mad or not, they can say what you want to do. I ain't trying to start a problem with nobody, but hell, I, I have no problem ending the problem either. Do not allow yourself to hear this bullshit about becoming a better version of yourself just to be an option to a woman. Unless you want to be a pair of shoes. Be the ultimatum. You set the rules, you set the course, you set the direction, you map, you chart out and map out the destination of where you're going, and if she can't go along with that, then she need to get gone. She's not the one for you. Period. End of story. Now, if you hear something in this video that you like, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. Um, also, I gotta say this a lot of times. You have to go on your smartphone, go through the settings, and I need you to look for the YouTube app, enable it, and then hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification button so that you can be made aware of my upcoming content. It is not enough to just hit the subscriber button or the notification bell. For some reason, YouTube said you also got to have that enabled on your smartphone. Okay? Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. Again, y'all take it easy.